Welcome all. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action coming up for you. Here with Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson, this is Brian Anderson. Joining us from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. And we've got a chance to check out multiple seasons of assist numbers and what has been the trend for D'Angelo Russell. And the leap he's taken in terms of his passing skills has been enjoyable to watch. He takes pleasure in moving the rock and trying to make his teammates better through his ball distribution. And let's go straight over to the sideline for a report before they tip off. Hey, Ali. Thanks. Well, guys, Jalen Green grew up in Fresno, California. And in high school tournaments, he said, quote, nobody knew where Fresno was or how hard it is. They think it's some nice little city, but really it's not. It's crazy out there. But my support system kept me from trouble and just locked in. Brian? Well, he stayed in the gym, Allie. Thank you. And some surprise teams that started out hot have not cooled down. Their fans are wondering if this is the new normal. Well, B.A., it's easy for fans to jump to that conclusion. But look. The bottom line is you can't look too far ahead. you got to stay in the moment and enjoy the ride. I wish I had done more of that when I was playing. And a look at Minnesota's opening lineup. Towns plays the four with Gobert in the middle. The backcourt, it's Russell and Edwards. And it's Prince in at the three slot. And for the Rockets, Porter Jr. and Green are the backcourt set. Bruno Fernando is out there with Smith. And it's Gordon in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Porter. Playing Utah, he was nearly unstoppable. Pass to Green. Rebound Minnesota. Last time they met in Minneapolis. Yeah, they destroyed this team on the glass in the last meeting. Russell, the pass to Gobert. Now Edwards. He's guarded by Porter. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Well, one thing you learn about Anthony Edwards, he does not lack for confidence. He wants to become the best to ever do it, and he believes he can. Edwards at the line for two. good on the free throw and you see the ambition for greatness in Edwards but Grant is he willing to do the work well B.A. think about this he's a quick study he listens to his coaches with curiosity and he's driven to achieve the goals they set for yeah I think he can and he sinks the second and here's Porter Pass to Smith. Over Towns. That one no good. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Russell up top. He's guarded by Porter. Russell the pass to Edwards. Towns a screen on Green. Here's Edwards. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. Now, here's Green. 17 points for him. Last game against Utah. Good on the shot. And this is something Smith needs to keep doing at the next level. Staying aggressive and close. Here's Edwards. To the middle. Puts it up. That's good from Towns. On the assist by Edwards. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Order the pass to Green. Down low. Oh, it's stolen by Towns. Russell against Porter. Russell the pass to Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. Wow. That type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. Here's Porter following the score by Minnesota. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Minnesota. 
First personal foul. An interesting First subplot foul. for Houston going forward, RJ. Their future is tied to Brooklyn, though. Yeah, because of the James Harden trade, the Rockets pretty much own the next first-round pick through 2027. It'll be interesting to see where those selections land. And he drops the first. And in trading for Rudy Gobert, the Timberwolves taking a Twin Towers approach with two seven-footers in their front court. Of course, the outstanding shooting of Carl Anthony Towns means that spacing shouldn't be much of a concern. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And guys, what I like about the Rockets, they have stockpiled talent. I know they're young, but they focused on getting as many pieces as they can. Now here's Towns. It's Edwards on the wing. Outside for Russell. There's the triple. They get it back. Gobert with the bucket. Just an aggressive move by Gobert, protecting the possession and getting the second chance look. Outside Porter. Outside Green. Over Edwards. And another miss by Houston. So what do you think the most important thing for young teams like the Rockets? Well, B.A., it comes down to playing time. I mean, Houston has done a great job of playing their kids. But let me tell you guys, nothing substitutes for game time in the NBA. Learning by playing. That's what it's all about. Anthony Edwards taking two shots. First one falls. He's off on the second. Well, the Timberwolves struck gold by getting the number one pick in the 2015 and 2020 NBA drafts. You are so right, B.A., selecting Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards, respectively. Two important players that have already had a tremendous impact on this team. Russell finds Towns. Basket's good. Oh, the big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. The Rockets trail. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. Oh, it's blocked by Towns! I mean, if height wasn't enough, Towns also has serious athleticism. There's just no easy shots when he's around. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And here's Houston. Smith passes to Porter. And there's the foul. It's on Rudy Gobert. That'll be a second foul of the game. Now the question is, do you leave him in? A third foul this early could spell trouble. Anderson's checked in for the Timberwolves. Outside quarter.
and the shot goes down. Here's Russell. He just could not put it together in that loss to the Clippers. Pass to Anderson. Edwards with it. And Edwards slams it in. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Ooh, what a tough PA. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. Time called here. The Rockets decide to talk it over. to glance at the rookies who scored the most per game during the last month of play. Jabari Smith is second. Those averages have distanced him from the pack. And the scary thing is, he may widen that margin. Pass to Porter. And there's the lob. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Anderson finds Edwards. Here's Russell. That one goes. Now he's one for two. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. They were ready to roll right through the tip. There was no warm-up period. There was only let's do this. Now here's Porter. He's been contributing over 15 a game. Green, the pass to Smith. And that one drops. Smith's got his second bucket of the night. And it looks like Smith is already getting stronger. He's looking to add some muscle. And that finish through contact is a great sign. Here's Edwards. His last outing, he had 20. Anderson passes to Russell. Up and over Porter. Misses off the left iron. For Houston, they've gone only three for nine from the floor. Boy, you look at Jalen Green. All the tools to be a star. It may take some time. Now, growing up, he was always the most talented. But he is a gym rat and a worker, a grinder. So I bet on him to reach his full potential soon. Now here's Russell. You know, his impact on offense has been terrific. Scoring just around 20 points a game. Downs. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Timberwolves. The Towns' three-pointer is elite. But some don't think centers should float around beyond the arc. What's the balance there, you think, Grant? Well, I mean, first of all, it just shows how the game has evolved with big guys shooting like him. The bottom line, just play with aggression and don't settle. That triple is a weapon. You also got to use your size and skill inside just as often. That one misses for Towns. The Rockets shooting 33% in the first quarter. Pass to Christopher. Pulls it down. 
and he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. Here's Towns. That shot off the mark, and Houston will come the other way. Here's Christopher. An 11-point game for him and the win against Utah. Just five to shoot. He hits it just before the shot clock expires. The Timberwolves have got eight of 13 attempts to go. Pass to Noel. Here's Towns. Another shot. And he lays it up and in. Towns has got eight. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Here's Christopher. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Shangun, the screen. The 11-footer. Oh, it's blocked by Towns. And he recovers it. Matthews misses. The Timberwolves shooting a phenomenal 60% on the first. Pass to Towns. Back to Noel. Two minutes. Martin against McDaniels. Five on the clock to the inside. Here's Christopher. There's a minute 47 left in the first. Here's Shangun. And drilled from six feet. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Minnesota in the lead. And Minnesota calls time here. When you take a look at this Houston Rockets team, there is no question that they have talented scorers who can get it going quickly. here for Kevin Porter and by looking at his true shooting percentage over the last five games you can see how much he's paying attention to his shot selection and it's showing there's a minute 34 left in the first quarter Here's Noel. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Reed for three. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. A minute 15 left in the first quarter. Pass to Shangun. Over Reed. And that one hits the back iron. Look like he just rushed it there. Just maybe take a little bit more time in the future. Anderson with it. Right now averaging five and a half a game. And he stays with it. On the wing, Forbes. Outside, Anderson. 
Tries again. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That one on Shangun. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. Something Kyle Anderson does well is put pressure on the ball. Not what you expect from bigger guys, but he's got good instincts and fine steals. That free throw, no good. So he can't get either to fall. Houston has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Here's Christopher. Off the mark there with a 3. Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Reed to screen on Martin. Pass to Reed. Takes the 3. Rockets with a rebound. Here's Christopher inside. Nails the baby hook. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. And that concludes the first quarter of play. The T-Wolves on top, up by nine. And the second quarter is on its way when we return. 23. This one has been one-sided so far. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Timberwolves? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge too. Well, the Timberwolves shooting a solid 53% from the floor. So for Minnesota right now, filling in the wings, Edwards and McDaniels. Nas Reed out there with Rudy Gobert. And it's Russell in at point guard. Edwards for three. Sinks it from distance. Edwards got 11 points. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Fires in the triple. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now here's Russell. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. Yeah, inside the paint, Russell stays so nimble, helping him get such a high percentage look. Here's Matthews. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Matthews got his first points of the night. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Now here's Gobert. Defense right on him. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's his first foul of the game. Can you believe that's their first turnover? Good ball security has really helped them build this lead. Green's checked in for the Rockets. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Towns is checked in. Russell against Porter. A minute and a half gone in the second quarter. To the left side wing. Six on the shot clock. Buries it from three. He has seven. And pick and rolls never more prevalent in the league than they are right now. And there's always someone the defense has to leave open in those scenarios, Grant. Yeah, B.A., you know, it's, it's amazing. It's such a simple play, but it's so difficult to defend, especially with the shooting that we now see in the NBA and the great spacing on the floor. It's a play, as you said, every team uses and executes well in their offensive attack. Pass to Fernando. Here's Green. Out 
outside Porter. Smith with a screen on Russell. The drive by Porter. Up and over Russell. Here's Smith. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. And they're in a better flow this quarter offensively. And their shooting percentage is steadily rising as a result. Here in quarter two, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Takes it inside. Here's Russell. The kick out to Edwards. Here's Gobert. And finally, they hit one. Activity on the glass. That's a possession that could have gotten away from them. Green with the ball. Russell covering. And that one's good. The execution has been better lately. But do they have enough energy to pull it off? The thing they have to watch for is mental fatigue. They have to stay focused and finish the job. Now here's Russell. He's off on the layup. And even though he hasn't been himself, it hasn't affected his team too much. They've still got the lead. Smith finds Porter. And stolen by Gobert. McDaniels from long range. Offensive rebound, Timberwolves. Picked by Gobert. Five to shoot. Second chance shot. He can't get it to go. And Houston will come the other way. Following this one, they hit the road to challenge the Kings at Golden One Center in Sacramento. They're kicking off a four-game road trip. And that one's good. Green. Now just a two-point Timberwolves lead. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets. Now here's Russell. Pass to Towns. Now Russell. It's McDaniels on the wing. Go bear with it. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got four rebounds now. And they've been producing at a high level. No question. They're in a nice rhythm offensively. Minnesota's gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Porter against Russell. Towns down low. 23 points for him last game against the Clippers. The Rockets have gotten six of their seven shots to go in the second quarter. Green finds Smith. in the post. Guarded by Edwards. And it's Green missing. Outside Edwards. Pass to Towns. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. Back to Gobert. Outside Edwards. Fades back. Rockets with a rebound. Fernando's got four rebounds in the game. Outside Porter to the middle. Here's Smith. That one drops, and it comes off an assist from Porter. Porter's got three assists now in this one. And Minnesota calls time here. The Timberwolves fall to for the Rockets. And the Timberwolves will go for a different look here. Anderson's checked in for Gobert. 
Prince comes in for McDaniels. Noel, he's checked in for Anthony Edwards. And Forbes subbed in for Russell. Minnesota with the ball. They couldn't put the pieces together last time out. Losing to the Clippers. And I'll tell you what, what a surprising result. Losing to an underdog is one thing, but getting blown out is quite another. I think they just got caught completely by surprise, and they never managed to fully recover. Here's Christopher. Here's Shangun. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. First personal All right, Richard, I was looking over your accomplishments, doing a little extra prep on you. An NBA title with the Cavs, a state title in high school, and almost won it all in college in Arizona. Is that the one what if in your career? Oh, no. Thank you for bringing those up. But, uh, yeah, I have tons of what ifs. I have, you know, obviously the college championship. I also got Athens in the 04. And look, just for giggles, I also like to talk about the two times I lost in the NBA Finals going against Shaq and Kobe, then Tim Duncan, David Robinson, and Manu Ginobili. But the funny thing is, it's not like they didn't have Hall of Fame head coaches. It was only Phil Jackson and Greg Popovich. So, you know, I've run into a few buzz saws in my day. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Reed's checked in. So hits one and misses one at the line. The Timberwolves trail. Pass to Noel. Anderson with a screen on Gordon. Here's Noel. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. That one on Shangun. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Rockets. And he drops the first. Both good from the line that time. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Gordon outside. 4-3. Anderson pulls it down. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Pass to Prince. Here's Reed, defended by Shingu. Fires from the wing. Reed can't hit. I think the defense will live with him taking mid-range jumpers. But maybe just a little bit more resistance. Here's Christopher. Out to Gordon. Clock at six. And here is Shangun. Oh, and Reed with a block. And he's able to get it back. And another miss by Houston. Minnesota in the lead. Here's Prince. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Floats one. Oh, and Reed with a block. And they're able to recover. Here's Prince. He's guarded by Martin. Here's Reed. It's rebounded by Houston. Normally he drains that. Here's Christopher. Pass to Garuba. And he lays it up and in. And the Rockets lead by one. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Now here's Reed. To the paint. A slam dunk by Reed. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points. Moves on. Now here's Gordon. He's coming off a 10-point game against Utah. 
Floats one up. Oh, and Reed with a block. Martin outside. Pass to Shang Goon for three. No good on the shot. Minnesota has gone just one of six from the perimeter here in the second. Now Anderson looking for his first basket still in this one. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Okay, it's time for the 2K leaderboard. The top teams in blocks during the last month of play. The Timberwolves second, Houston fourth. And lately, both of these squads have been dominant defenders in the paint, piling up some jaw-dropping shot-blocking stats. one misses and the Rockets making a change here Matthews checked in he does not get the second one Houston has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter and you oftentimes hear about players at peace with their game well that is Eric Gordon, a knockdown shooter with physicality. Plenty of room for that in today's NBA. Anderson passes to Reed. On the wing, Noel. Picked by Prince. And that one drops Jamie. for him. Noel. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Houston has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. It's Martin on the wing. grabs the miss. Prince has got four rebounds in the game. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Has to Reed. And he banks in the layup. Reed's got seven points in the game. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. And here's Gordon. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Timberwolves ahead. They lead by a bucket. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Carl, you were able to build the lead, but what's the key to maintaining it or even increasing it going forward? I mean, don't change what we're doing. Just stay together, keep passing the ball, uh, keep playing great defense, and just keep making them think and make decisions, uh, especially the difficult ones. Consistency is a beautiful thing. Thanks, Carl. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. with All-Star Weekend approaching quickly, here's an update on how the dunk contest contenders are shaping up. We see it every night. The creativity around the league, some of those dunks will end up in the contest. The highlights on the season fueling early voting here. 
And we now take a look at the Houston Rockets and the close first half they've played. These guys make plays for one another. They're in harmony out there, putting a lot of stress on that defense. Man, it's hard to get stops when you're scrambling to cover people. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Boy, you gotta like what we're seeing from Anthony Edwards. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for them. And then, of course, executing. I like how they came into this one with the game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. Porter Jr. and Green are the backcourt set. Smith out there with Eric Gordon. And it's Fernando in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five for Houston right now. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. And so it's Minnesota with it. They held a 12-point lead earlier. The Rockets trail. On the wing, Porter, guarded by Russell. Here's Green. That one drops, and it comes off an assist from Porter. Green's got six points. Defenders naturally rotate to Green. That leaves a nice angle for the pass. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Now here's Reed. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. That is not a bad decision to pull it from there. It was just a little bit off with the execution. Russell against Porter. He can't get that one to fall. Good work defensively by Russell. Edwards with it. Checked by Gordon. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Second person foul. First team foul. At the line for the Timberwolves. Anthony Edwards. Two shots. First one at the line is good. The Timberwolves making a switch here. McDaniels checked in. And both free throws good for Edwards. Here's Porter. He's got five. Side. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. The Timberwolves have gone just one of three in the second half. McDaniels passes to Russell. To the inside. Pop it in on the layup. Russell's got six. Oh, you love to see that kind of vision from Gobert. As much attention as he draws from the D, there's bound to be an open man, and he just got to find it. Now, here's Green. Six points for him. The drive by Porter. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Now here's Russell. The D's right on him. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Home to the floor for your Rockets. Into the third. Two minutes in now. Pass to Gobert. Outside Edwards. The 11-footer. Off the left rim and out. And for the Rockets, they're shooting 40% so far in this one. Outside, Green. 
Smith against Gobert. Smith no good. Trying to get it going. Only one for five to start the second half. Here's Towns. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Third personal. And yeah, this is what you like to see from Towns. Using his size and strength to make things happen. And for the Timberwolves, Carl Anthony Towns. One shot. And falls for Towns. And the play in tournament has been a success. But some debate about whether the stats should count towards postseason stats. Granted, kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, BA, first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high pressure elimination games. And yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. These rookies are on a roll. The best shooters from the field over the last 10 games. Fourth, Jabari Smith. Got five. Outside, green. The Rockets again can't hit. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Pass to Edwards. Gobert inside. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Edwards can't hit. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Smith with a screen on Towns. Smith with it, guarded by Russell. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one on Russell. And just continuing to impress at every level. Smith Jr. was a five-star recruit. Led Auburn to a great season as a freshman. And he's just starting to tap into his potential now. And he makes a first. Smith Jr. with incredible upside grip. And he's got the work ethic to make it all happen. Yeah, he really does, B.A. He's a humble guy. He puts in extra time at practice. And it really shows in his skill set. Just very advanced for his age. And the Rockets making a change here. Garuba's checked in. And that's good as he hits both shots. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. Here's Russell. Banked it in off the glass. Yes, Russell. Russell's got four points now in the quarter. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Pass to Garuba. 
down low. Here's Smith. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. You look at how the game is played today. Teams are looking for length, versatility, and of course, shooting. Smith Jr. has all of that and more. Smith, two shots. one falls for him. Well, you mentioned the shooting, Grant. Smith Jr. hitting 42% from beyond the arc last season. B.A., I mean, among his many skills, that one probably stands out the most. But I also love his potential at the other end. He really has those tools to be a lockdown defender one through five. He's perfect from the line this time. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Outside Russell. Towns on a screen. And it's Russell on the drive. Got a hand on it. And putting his length to good work. Smith gets aggressive and finds the block. Just five on the clock. Second chance effort. Gobert passes to Russell. Now McDaniels. Pass to Towns. Oh, persistence oh, pays off good. as they finally hit a shot. Towns has got five points now in the quarter. Edwards against Green. Smith with a screen on Russell. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. There, we're seeing some of that potential everyone is talking about with Smith. Just a talented offensive player. Towns can't get it to go. For Houston, they've gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. It doesn't go for him. McDaniels with some nice D. Pass to Russell. Gobert against Smith. Here's Towns. Let's it fly. He's off on that one. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. Here's Garuba, covered by Towns. Garuba, no good. Minnesota's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Pass to Gobert. Uses the glass on the layup. Gobert's got six points. And for Gobert, his offense continues to catch up with the elite defense. He's becoming a legitimate two-way threat. Now a timeout called by Houston. will go for a different look here. Anderson's checked in for Gobert. Prince comes in for Towns. Noel, he's checked in for Edwards. And Forbes subbed in for Russell.
Here's Christopher. He's got five. Here's Smith. Prince grabs the miss. Prince has got five rebounds in the game. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Man, good whistle there. First personal foul. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for the Timberwolves. Shooting for Minnesota. Torian Prince taking two shots. First free throw is good. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Gordon, he's checked in for Christopher. Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Reed against Shangoon. Back to Gordon. Shot clock at five. Matthews. Offensive board. Martin outside. Shangoon, the screen. Martin misses. Minnesota's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Pass to Forbes. Here's Noel. Outside, Anderson. Up and over Smith. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Houston has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the NBA markets itself behind its star players, but Commissioner Adam Silver understands what makes the game tick. He said, quote, this is a team sport. In order to truly win championships and compete at the highest level, all the players have to come together. So true, Allie. Thank you. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing out. Now here's Anderson. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Well, one thing Kenyon Martin Jr. definitely has, Richard, is a big vertical. Oh, I played with his father, and both of them knew how to defy gravity. He managed to block the dunk attempt of some of the tallest players, and he can take the ball straight to the rim for a slam of his own. And Shin Goon gets it to go. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Anderson against Smith. Reed sets a screen to the middle. Intercepted! A minute 29 left in the third quarter. Pass to Gordon. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Anderson's got five rebounds tonight. They're losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. Reed with it. Outside, Anderson. Up and over Gordon. And it's Martin with the rebound. The Rockets trail. There's 49 seconds left to play in the third. Smith outside. Pass to Shengu. And the lamp is good off the glass. shengu has got seven points in the game. They allow him to establish deep position. You just can't do that. And they need better team defense. How about your man in the post? It takes multiple guys to stop him. Houston has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Six-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Stolen by Anderson. Pass 
Pass to Reed. Fade away. Nice spin off the left oh. rim and in. He's got nine. That's more than enough space for him to get that shot. And that'll do it for the third quarter. Timberwolves ahead, up seven. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. now as we take a look at our State Farm assist to the game. You have to love his unselfishness and ability to make those around him better. He does do a great job steering the ship for them out there and keeping the offense clicking. is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. The Rockets shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. Setting the floor for the Timberwolves. Townsend Gobert, the towering big men at the four and the five. Filling in the wings, Edwards and McDaniel. And it's Russell in at the point. Minnesota in the lead. Edwards, the pass to Russell. Here's Towns. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got his third assist of the night. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. Now here's Porter. Inside. Ooh, Gobert with a steal. To the paint. Here's McDaniels. And that one is stuffed right through. And this is what point guards like Russell are responsible for. Setting the table for his guys. Outside, green. Outside quarter. Minnesota foul. Jaden McDaniels. First personal foul. First team foul. We played just over a minute here in the fourth. On the wing quarter. Shangoon, a screen on Russell. Order the pass to Shangoon. Lays it up and banks it in. High value assist there. Finding him inside for the finish. Pass to Towns. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Soft touch off the glass. Towns has got nine points here in the second half. Now here's Porter. Outside, Green. Fires the three. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got 11 rebounds in the game. Outside Edwards. Pass to Russell. Let's the three fly. The Rockets pull it in. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. Porter against Towns. Outside, Green. Back to Porter. Shot clock at six. Over McDaniels. Here's Fernando. Drops in the layup for two. How about the level of activity this dude just brings to the glass? Just refusing to give up on plays. And his teammates, trust me, they appreciate the effort. Now here's Edwards. The three is up. It's rebounded by Shangoon. Shangoon's got five rebounds tonight. Green, the pass to Porter. Back to Green. Cash. Assisting on the play was Porter. Porter's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. For Minnesota, they've gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Gobert finds Edwards. Fires from deep. Fernando grabs the miss. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Green, the pass to Porter. The rebound by the Timberwolves. 
Towns has got a rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Outside McDaniels. Pass to Towns. Over Porter. Towns can't get it to go. The Rockets shooting just under 40% from the field. Porter against Russell. Shangun passes to Green. Now here's Porter. Shangun, a screen on Russell. Now Shangun. And out of bounds. Minnesota will have it. Timberwolves ball. Minnesota's gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. And Minnesota calls time here. here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. I was able to listen in on what Chris Finch was going over with his team. He spoke about their approach going forward. He believes that this is a mental battle. He told his players how we think about each possession will determine the outcome. Let's stay locked in. Thanks for that, Allie. Rockets on D. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Russell has to go there. Back to Russell. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Now here's Porter. Pass to Shangun. Oh, and Towns with the block. McDaniels up top. Russell up top. Here's Edwards. Go bear with it. Back to Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Timeout call. Time out. Houston. Call. Coach is not happy with their effort on the defensive glass. They're giving up way too many second chance points.
used to making some changes. Smith comes in for Shangun, and it's Gordon in for Matthews. against Russell. Oh, he picked him clean. Now Towns. Down low. Outside for Russell. Six to shoot. Thirteen feet out. That one's wide left. For Houston, they've gotten three of eight shot attempts to find the net here in the fourth quarter. Gordon finds Porter. Outside, Green. Pass to Fernando. It's blocked by Gobert. A rangy defender with great defensive timing. Why do you think they call Gobert the stifle tower? Minnesota, they've got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Russell, the pass to Gobert. That shot's good. Russell making the play. And the Timberwolves lead by 13. And the Rockets shooting 33%. This hasn't been their quarter. Pass to Green. Smith with a screen on Edwards. And he lobs it up. Yeah, if there's anybody who can ignite a crowd with his dunks, it's Jabari. He throws him down with power. The Timberwolves have gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Now Gobert. Up top, Edwards. Gobert with a screen on Green. Shot is good by Edwards. Edwards has got 20 points. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Green for three. The shot no good. And Minnesota will come the other way. Ball stolen. Outside Porter to the middle. Smith passes to Porter. Oh, and Towns with the block. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. Here's the three. They grab their own miss. Oh, oh big oh, finish. Wow. <laughs> okay, I see you. An awesome athlete. It's fun watching Gobert get up and hammer it down with force. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Timeout called. The Rockets.
Here's Porter. Pass to Green. Smith with a screen on Edwards. And it's Green off the drive. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to be on Carl Anthony Towns. He was the second pick in the 2021 draft. Jalen Green got off to a slow start as a rookie, but showed growth throughout the course of the season. Green at the line for two. Free throw good. Green. And with his elite athleticism and explosiveness, the ceiling is high for Jalen Green, Richard. Oh, yeah. High is a bit of an understatement. It might take a couple of years for him to find his footing. But Green has all of the physical tools and skills to be a three-level scorer and an all-star in this league. A multiple-time all-star. And both free throws good for Green. And for Green, it's about focusing on taking high percentage shots. When he does this, he's an effective player. The whistle blows. It's going to be on Anthony Edwards. That's foul number two for him. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Houston now. Time running out. And here is Green. Outside Porter. 141 left in the game. He buries it from three. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Towns. Out of bounds. It'll be Rockets ball. Here's the ball. We've got 128 left to play in the fourth. Outside, green. Pass to Shangun. Shangun, a screen on Russell. Porter with it, and it's Gobert picking him up. And Gobert with a block. And this is a game they can build off of. They kept their focus all game long, and it will get marked as a win for the Timberwolves. A big key tonight, second chance points. Yeah, B.A., they really hit the offensive glass. They won the battles for loose balls, giving them plenty of extra opportunities. Looking at this year so far, this will make 22 wins for them. And they've had their fingerprints all over this series, winning two straight and looking like they have this team's number. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games for Rudy Gobert. Honestly, I just love how relentless he is on the glass, making a big effort to pull the ball in and give his teammates extra chances. Here's Towns. The kick out to Edwards. Outside Russell. Jacks up a three. Hits the trifecta. And the Timberwolves lead by 12. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Green, the pass to Gordon. Here's Smith. No luck on that one. Russell with the ball. So we see the Timberwolves taking the W here. The end of the game. Boy, a nice win still. on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. All right, I'm with Carl Anthony Towns. Carl, congratulations on the victory. What was key in getting the win here tonight? Uh, I mean, we played like we wanted it more. You know, we came out here and we just did a lot of great defensive stops. It wasn't offensive, it was more defensively. We did a great job. We got the 50-50 balls, uh, put us in a nice position. We could see and feel that desperation. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for tuning in as New Balance presents our player of the game, Rudy Gobert.